Hey guys, it is Marianne from Thrive with your top tip. And today it's one in word that I absolutely love sharing and I go on about it quite a lot. But I want to show you the power of using breaks, the official formatting option in word to help you break your document into sections and be able to create different formatting in different elements of your document. Now, I love this tool if you are working in a document where you realize that a page might need a table or an image or a graphic or even just the the type of content that you're putting in there means that that one single page needs to be switched around and maybe be a landscape page instead of your default portrait option and it can be a real pain for people to figure out how to do it so this is the trick we're going to insert a section break and we do that. So I'm going to do it so that this page, the one that says next steps at the top is going to be landscape. So you can see that they are portrait because I can see them. I'm just going to jump it back just a little bit so we can see that it is. That's one page and it's a portrait where the short edge is at the top. So what I'm going to do is I've got a page break here. So I've got my formatting marks on from my uh, paragraph section of the home tab this little guy my formatting marks is there so I can see what's there what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to instead go to my insert tab sorry I'm going to go to my layout tab I'm going to go to the layout tab and go to the breaks here at the top and then we're going to insert a section break so that the new section starts on the next page what I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to get rid of my page break. So it's just a section break, next page. So instead of that little single line, it's a double line. We've broken up the document here. What I'm also going to do is at the end here, I'm going to put another one. So we go back afterwards. It's just going to be this one page. So terms and disclaimers will be portrait. This one here with service two will be portrait. But this one here with next steps is going to be excitingly landscape. So now, because I've put those section breaks in, this here, if I open up my header and footer, you can see section one, section two, and then section three again. That's one of the easiest ways to see it. So what I'm going to do is anywhere when my cursor is in here, I'm now going to go layout, orientation, and portrait. And what you can see when I look at the, the when I scroll out this way is that we've got portrait, landscape, back to portrait again. This is the easiest way. So anything I put on this page now, anything before this mark will all be landscape. So if I've got a table that runs three or four pages, this is the way to do it. Give it a go.